those who do get one of the scattered showers. Now, touching on the tropics very quickly, we do not have anything to worry about. No threats for us. The National Hurricane Center interestingly highlighted this swirl way out in the Atlantic and gave it a low chance of development. It's not even a tropical system. It's non tropical, but as it moves across some warm waters, it may take on a couple of tropical characteristics. So that's why they have it here moving out to the west. Low chance of development, but you can see this is not on track to get anywhere near us. And if we keep getting these fronts off the east coast, likely would not be able to make it near the US even along the east coast. Now looking back at the season, we We've had 11 named storms looking at the ACE, the accumulated cyclone energy for this season. We're at 84. The average at this point in the season is 110 and we're at about 75% of normal and looking at the number of storms. Also this year again, 11 looking back the past six years have been above average. And of course, we remember the 30 named storms from 2020 and 21 storms from last year. But in the past 25 years, there have only been three other seasons that were below average. Not to say we're done. We still have six weeks left in hurricane season, but just looking at our numbers so far, the last time we had a quiet season like this or a relatively quiet season was 2015. 2014, we only had eight named storms. And in 2009, we had nine named storms. But after after many years with just so many storms, we only had 11 so far and at this point not looking for any others to form. We'll keep an eye on that spot way out in the Atlantic, but again, not a concern.